This is John Cleese Car on his YouTube channel. Behind me is a Porsche 911 997 Gen 1 that's in with us for replacing the rather antiquated PCM system. Let's go in and have a look at what we've done. This had the PCM, I want to say 2.1 as standard. We've now installed the Kenwood. I'm going to start her off from the beginning because I want to show you the splash screen. Excuse a few fingerprints on the screen, but I have been using it obviously for testing. We've used the flush fit fascia matching silver to match the bit below, like the heater control, so all in keeping. If you had a Gen 2, this would all be black and you do do a black version of this fascia as well. Let's turn ignition on. First thing you're gonna notice is we've put the Porsche startup logo on just to keep it more in keeping with the vehicle, you know, keep that originality as much as we can, despite the fact it looks different. Disclaimer comes on, you can wait 10 seconds, it disappears, but if you just hit agree and it will come on. Now this is the Kenwood DMX8021. Take a screenshot of that part number if you want to Google it. Absolutely cracking unit. When installed by ourselves, you get a three year warranty as well. And also any other Kenwood Premier Center out there. Now, if I connect my phone to it, I'm going to push the phone button down here. and I'm going to show you what happens with CarPlay. Because this is wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So you're going to go to your phone. You're going to search for devices. You're going to find the one at the bottom, which is the latest one, the 8021. You just wait for the on-screen commands and you're going to hit yes to every single one. So you go pair, yes, allow your contacts if you want them to be on the screen. And then what's happened is now it's doing a handshake via Bluetooth to switch to CarPlay, sorry, switch to Wi-Fi. So we go use CarPlay, go yes on the screen, and now it's going to do a transition over to Wi-Fi for wireless connection. We wait about three seconds, three, two, one, and then comes up on the screen. And if you haven't seen Apple CarPlay before, it's extremely simple to use. That's your home button down there. You can scroll across to, to use certain apps like Apple Maps, Google Maps, and Waze Navigation, or even TomTom Tom if you pay for it. You can also use music streaming apps like Spotify on the screen, or in my case, I use Tidal. You can also use things like internet radio as well, like TuneIn Radio, Virgin Radio. So if you don't want to listen to DAB, or you go into an area where there's no DAB coverage, you can use internet radio. Now this car can get DAB, because what we've done is we've fit in a windscreen aerial on the left there, we can actually install this in different positions on a 997 so and the Cayman, as long as you've got a coupe, not a convertible, we can actually put the aerial on the rear window, like behind me there, if you prefer. It does cost extra to do that, so if you want that, please let us know before you book in so we can obviously quote for it and make sure that gets done. DAB air was pretty subtle. I mean, from this position, it's not exactly that noticeable. It's not in your peripheral vision, really, but when you zoom in, you can see it there. We installed a microphone as part of this installation here, which we put up here, just away from the speakers, reduce a bit of uh, wind noise and road noise. But yeah, this is a really good unit. DAB radios on it, you've got Bluetooth, you've got the ability to change the illumination. We've, turn the volume down a second. We've set this to white, so it matches the illumination at night time, but if you add green illumination, blue, and so on, you can change the illumination to matches and that too. But yeah, it does Android Auto as well. So yeah, cracking unit. Very popular, probably seen it on our channel a few times. In fact, there's probably a number of Porsches on this channel with this same unit fitted, with the aerial on the rear window, front window, and so on and so forth. But yeah, not much more I can say about this. This is a Porsche 911 997 with Bose. We've retained the original Bose amplifier, so the camera communicates with all the original speakers as the original one intended. But yeah, this is Connor from John Cleese in front of the camera. We're signing off now. Hope you like our channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.